Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Regalia of Men and Monarchs. Okay. Quest has been updated. Basically, we went to the Elven site, defeated the Godstone, and we didn't find the ores. The Elves had their ores stolen because Unity took the ores to offer to the Godstone. But the ores weren't there, so maybe they took them back? We're gonna get pep talk. Put stuff together now grounds 100% of maximum shield, resets all skill to down to zero. That's actually fantastic. We want this. Let's go to the town square talk to these guys. 42 days left. Plenty of time in this chapter. Plenty of time. Hey guys, what's up? Hello again, everyone. We really need to talk. Again? This is getting annoying. My feet hurt. We're listening. So we went to the grove and destroyed the rock. What? Why would you do that? We're doomed. What will we do now? The rock is gone. Told you we should have hanged him, I did. <laughs> now, now, calm down. What about the elves? Are they gone? That's the thing. We managed to fend off the monsters, which happened to be completely unrelated to the problem at hand, but that's slightly beyond the point. And we haven't found the ores. Are you sure you left them by the rock? Course we did! I'm not dumb, you know! Hey, guys, I'm confused. Does it mean the elves are still around? Oh, right. Good question. So the elves are still around, huh? Yeah, because they don't have their ores. Try to keep up. They are, but they haven't made a move yet. I promise we'll try our best to find the ores. Bah, bah. Useless! The old rulers would just kill them all like in the good old days! <laughs> well, I'd like to remind you that this whole problem is kind of your fault. You shouldn't have stolen those ores. Self-defense? It was self-defense. You're our king! You should do something about it! Do something! But... They're right. We wanted you to resolve this thing, not muddle it up. <sighs> oh, whatever. You tried, I guess. Maybe the situation is still salvageable. So, lads, any ideas? What should we ask him to do next? The elves are still here. The problem's not resolved. What are you gonna... What? Get out. I I'm sorry, what? I've had enough. It is clear to me now that to you, this is nothing but a clever self-serving scheme, regardless of the cost. Way to go, Kay. Standing up for yourself. Nice. Nice character arc here. Does all of this mean nothing to you? This is your past too. Are our efforts just a convenient way to get around something that you, yourself, should have done a long, long time ago? Now just you wait, boyo. Get out! You want to pose threats to me and my family? Well, I will play your games no more. Be gone from my sight! All right, all right. Well, they left. Okay, there we go. There she goes. You'll regret this, you. Oh, that's totally going to backfire, isn't okay. it? Yeah. I mean, Gwen's probably proud of you right now. Just so you know. Yeah. I'm so goddamn proud of you right now. But that's got to make you seriously question whether or not you did the right thing, right? If you're... I wouldn't say your enemies are proud of you, but... Because Gwen's clearly not an enemy. I mean, she sh he should stand up for himself, right? Kay was right to stand up for himself. They were clearly taking advantage of the situation. I don't know. I'm of two minds. I'm kind of with Gwen. And yeah, I'm kind of understanding it is probably a bad idea, but... Okay. Hello. And so the hour comes, brain fever. You know, you guys could just make ores, right? There's like a thousand trees. What? Why are you here? Did I not tell you that the coterie would be watching? The kith grow weary of waiting. The Anam demands blood. Have you fulfilled your end of the bargain? Just take down a damn tree and carve your own oars. As we witnessed, your subjects did not provide much use. I don't know what to tell you. Despite our best efforts, we couldn't find the oars. Good. So blood it will be. Wait! We're gonna do a battle right here in the courtyard. Maybe not. Oh, what uh, the? Master Ondoris? 
Why does Haksoon have the oars? What? What's that thing you're carrying? Ah, these. Just some oars I found by some rock in the forest. Ugly things. But who knows? Maybe they'll be worth something to someone. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Are you telling me that there's a second god rock? Why? You wanna buy them? I could cut you a deal. Well... Um... Over a barrel does not even remotely describe the situation right here, but maybe Haksun doesn't know. Okay. So are we so settled? You'll leave us in peace? Aye. <laughs> what a surprising turn of events, my brain fever. Your brain fever. One more thing. Before back in the grove, you mentioned your coterie owing something to the Lorne name? Yes, that is true. But if you're searching for roots, this may prove to be a card that you should not uncover. A card you should not... A what? What the what? Are you, con are you mixing metaphors? What do you mean? You have no doubt heard the tale of the Crusades. A time when House Lauren died, buried with their city-state of Ascalia. But truth is rarely simple or singular. How much do you really know? Just the bare minimum, I'm afraid. Many tetrids ago, the then Lord Martell of House Lauren invited our coterie to his court. What? Why? Why, he had come to us with a proposal, and we agreed. He wanted us to stay with him. Forever. What? He was a weak ruler and a weak man, one in desperate need of guidance. He wanted us. He needed us. And so he called out to the knight. And the kith answered. He surrendered his will, and we filled the cracks. But it was not by our hand that the tide of atrocities began. With our help, he said, he would become something more. A kith. A mere man. Lysos Orphan, calling himself a kith. Ha! Truly the mark of madness. You're gonna have to explain what kith is. Men and kith. Sun and moon. Day and night. Two paths never meant to converge. As the word spread, human lords, men of Shadu, men of Lordemar, grew afraid. A foothold for the kith in the heart of human lands? Kith must be their word for elf. What am I going to go with? They were afraid. Then, one by one, came the diplomatic incidents. And so, in an unprecedented move, your history's two mortal enemies banded together against House Lauren. Your people know this event as the Crusades. Your land burned. The city was turned to ash. The Kith were overpowered. And the Mad King Martell, our plaything and benefactor, was eliminated. I can't believe it. House Lauren. My family. Responsible for these Crusades? All the destruction and suffering? Because of one loony guy? So speak the histories of the world, my brain fever. <sighs> this is a bit much to take in, but thank you nevertheless. No debts between us remain now, manling. May we one day meet on the field of battle. As allies, I hope. Just saying. <laughs> Let me offer you one final bit of advice. Do not fight for a legacy that you should not be part of. What? It would actually be kind of hilarious if the game ended with us saying, you know what? Fuck it. We're out. Leave the leave the kingdom to ruin for somebody else to pick up. Okay, so the elf quest is complete somehow? I don't think... I mean, I guess the auras did show up. Very strange. We can trade his stuff now. Um... They kind of like pep talk. You know, Dodge, he's not going to be in the middle of it most of the time anyway. I'm going to give up the health instead, though. Let's keep the Dodge. Um, if we can. Let's get rid of Jack of All Trades, maybe, instead. 
Um, just trying to see if there's anything good I want to keep around. We have a lot of good dodge stacks. That's really good, but... Okay, let's keep that. Drop the Jack of All Trades. Get the pep talk instead. Because it's a really good thing that I would use pretty much all the time. I mean, okay, not all the time because it is on immense cooldown, but at least once to be able to recover, that's pretty good. Okay, how many quests we got? How many quests have we done? Still at 10? Yeah, we're still at 10. I want to get this to 14. So... We reached probably level 20. Where are we now? We're at 15. Okay, so that's probably not going to happen this chapter. It might happen next chapter. But to do it, we need to go out in the world. We do some personal bonds. Alice isn't ready yet, which is good because she's level 4 already. Um, Gunther? Nope. Levant. Still close. This is ready to go. Alright, let's see if we can talk to them. Yep, we can. So, hello, back up over here. You. What can I get you? Spend the day. Work, work, work. Okay. Boz is verbose as usual. And then again, I suppose coconuts don't migrate, do they? Eh, what Are you the even hell? listening? I'm sorry, but what's with your dad? He seems pretty zoned out today. Yeah, staring at the wall? A little unusual. More than usual, you mean? Well, yeah, you spend some time with him. You begin noticing the subtle changes. I know, right? But I don't know. I think he's been like that since he got that letter. Huh? Letter? Yep. It arrived the day before yesterday. Dad seemed pretty concerned to even see it being delivered. See, we don't get much mail here, or rather, not at all. So it was inside the letter. I don't know. He keeps talking to himself, you know? And he doesn't want to share. Okay. The hell? Oh my. Everything okay? <laughs> Why do you punch the wall? Are you upset? Please try to calm down. Oh my, you look so miserable. Please. Mister? Look who looks at you with uncertainty in her eyes. Okay, this would just be escape, so don't do that one. Maybe? I mean, it'd be hilarious if we can get him to talk, but it seems unlikely. Maybe not hilarious. Disturbing, actually, with the just relicant silence. There it out. Are you alright? Hmm. Thanks! Okay, that helped, I guess. We didn't get to... Okay, sure. That's weird. I'm not sure that helped. Quest weren't updated. What? 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 Oh, probably that's left over from the elves. Yeah, that's good. What that is? There's no bonds, so DLC gain from all sources gain up by ten percent. That's pretty good. Um, so that means our quest will reward us more, and also going out in the world will reward us more. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Need one more. Probably Levant. Talk to Levant. Where you at, Levant? There you are. I really wish it was this close. We could just do it, but unfortunately, not to the town down here. Unfortunately, we got to emote at each other for a day. Let's do it. Boat. Don't waste my time on chit chat. Mote, mote, mote. Receive this folly. Yeah, we haven't been doing very well with Levant. He does not seem to like Kay at all. There's a little bit of respect. Well, I don't know. I wanted to say there's a little bit of respect from the Levant side for Kay, but only because Kay is a leader. If they met socially, that would not be respect at all. Okay, we can go with the Levant. We can definitely make this upgrade, so let's do it. And then we'll go out in the world. Don't waste my time on chit-chat. Okay, proceed to this folly. Go. Okay. okay. Gonna take him to a... 
The tavern? Why? Almost flawlessly. I was trying to fit a round block inside a square circle. I have to repair that door. Come to think of it, I'm actually surprised the frame was to... Ooh, Dad's gonna be so mad! It's a broken mess. Well, what do you have to say for yourself, you big oaf? No. I'm sorry. What? He actually said he was sorry. Anyway, it didn't misery, but as soon as our meeting is concluded, I shall swift fix this. Swift? Swift? I don't even know that word. Is that like a little bit like forthwith or forthwith? Okay, then. You want something to eat or drink? I mean, I don't exactly know how it works in your case, but... Acceptable. Tea would be acceptable. I guess so he could smell it? I doubt he's going to pour it into his helmet. For me, too. Yes, sir! All right, everyone loves tea. He thinks I should avoid sitting lest the chair shall crumble like unwashed heretics. That's a great analogy and... Or simile, rather. I want to use that in everyday life. Be crushed like unwashed heretics. What? Out with it. Yeah, I'm so curious. I'm so incredibly curious. Maybe he just wants to smell it. That I have to click it. I do intend to drink that. I do not. I am physically unable to do so. Yep, that is true. Why'd you place an order then? Wait a minute. Is it because you didn't want to dis disappoint Lilka? You wanted to be nice. You. Nice. You. We shall not discuss this. Well, I'm actually right, aren't I? Are you adjusting to your new life? Uh... Not too well, I take it. My apologies. I keep forgetting it's not something you wanted. It's not about what I want. I have a mission to fulfill and an oath to make right. It's a shallow sleep either way, no matter who or what happens to disturb it. I'm talking about that oath, but you never elaborate. And you worry too much about things beyond your station. Beyond station? He's a fucking king. In my time, I've done many things I wasn't proud of. I fought for causes that were not always just for ones I did not believe in. I championed people who strayed from the teaching, seeping corruption into the church. I slaughtered wantonly, never to be issued penance. These mistakes burn inside me still. They give me focus. They give me fire. And there is the oath. You will show respect! I tire of this talk. Is this some kind of interrogation? A little bit. I mean, this is probably true. If we keep pushing him, keep poking him, he might tell us. And tell me sooner or later. Let's do it. Okay. Presumptuous it always. The sun is gone, but I hold the light. The world is a mess, and I need to fix it. Only you? Okay, spend the next hour trying to go to Levon into a human conversation. Good luck with that. But Levon's at least adjusting. Maybe not extremely well, but adjusting. What do we get out of that? Still more. Holy Diver has maximum jump range increased by two. That's actually not bad. And we don't use them that much, but when we do, the thing is, the pure damage build, or the pure damage party we're, we have right now, works out pretty well. We keep him around in case we need a tank, but for the most part, we don't really need him. Should get Rowl leveled up. Um, But he's almost never... When, look at the schedule here. Rowl, when are you available? It says personal bond. This is available today. Doesn't have a heart over him. Let's see what we can do. He's in his lab at least. That's nice to change. Not always true. Greetings. Um yeah, we can spend time. What do you know? So just the icon was wrong. Just do this right now. Upgrade this character's building. Oh. Okay, I don't think we have hmm. We can try. Let's go to the castle. We can try to upgrade the building, but I don't know if we have enough stuff. I thought we were done with the construction, but I guess maybe not. I mean, the construction quests are done. That's probably why I thought that. Do not have enough components or gemstones, for that matter. Probably used all of our gemstones in crafting a bunch of the other stuff. 
Well, then let's go out in the world. That's what I said was going to happen. Let's do it. So, regular party, I think. For great. We move now. Do I have to? Okay, and we don't. Do we have we have a place to go? Right, right, right. We want Miri's quest, which is down here. But I don't want to go straight there. Let's go to the Carmine Basin first. Actually, we follow the pathing here. It looks like that'd actually be the Hal Koresh. And then we go here at the Meltdown site. Because those are both sharing the same... Well, they look like they're a continuation of the same uh, terrain. So we'll go here first. Yeah, we have plenty of time. We can do this. Okay. Okay. And then inside, and we don't have to do this to do her quest, but it just seems like, you know, it just makes sense to me. All right, enter the node. Let's go. My little face melter. That's disturbing on several different levels. Do the narrator voice for a couple of these. How do you track to the less visible corners of bizarre land leads you face first in discovery? You almost step into a live, unexploded Sherudian spellbomb. No doubt from the time when they were actively warring with the Lord of all. Alternately... And it's one of those old, unreliable, less potent models. Unfortunately, it's very much armed and in your way. Let's examine the bomb. The man's eyes bomb before you is a spherical metal ore with a little visual flavor. The antiquated design and technical sensibilities now embellished with rust and exposed tubes. That said, you have no idea how any of it works. Alright, let's examine the exposed tubes. Some kind of impact must have cracked one of the panels open, spilling the complicated tube network out outside the metal shell. The network appears to be roughly split into three cl color clusters, blue, red, and yellow. Being the ignorant man that you are, you actually assume these tubes must be some kind of fuel injection mechanism. Yet another of your clearly expert hunches tells you that removing one of these tube clusters may disable the whole device. Either way, you're almost sure you know what you're doing. And that's really at the most dangerous point, when you think you know what you're doing. Enough information to be dangerous. Blue is the color of whales. Whales are dependable creatures. Destroy the blue. <laughs> red is in strawberries. Everyone likes strawberries. Destroy the red. Yellow is a pretty wholesome color. Destroy the yellow. Or let's not get exploded. Backtrack and look for another route. Let's... I don't think they'd end our game. I'm just really puzzled what's gonna happen. Blue, red, or yellow. Blue, red, or yellow. Blue, red, or yellow. Blue, red, or yellow. I mean, in the movies, you always cut to red wire, right? It's always the red wire. Every time. Unless, of course, they're trying to subvert expectations, in which case it's a completely different color. But it's usually the red wire. There's the red cluster. Let's do it. Convinced of the right choice, you decide to destroy the red cluster in direct response to the mechanism's accepts and explodes right in your face. Rules of technical error, energize, go off your party, you die. Well, okay, not really. Okay, good. Close your eyes, the fantasy space, fire, and death, but instead the phantasmagoric wave of force leaves you unscathed. Searching through you like a breeze of fresh air. The reaction subsides, your party finds himself not dead, but invigorated? What? Okay. Alright. Yay, I suppose. It was a red wire, kind of. I'm very confused, but sure. Go in. We've won. Go. I totally didn't read the flavor text for this particular battle, so I'm sure it's just going to be a wonderful battle. Three skeleton warriors. Win the battle in six turns. Defeat two enemies in a single battle. Okay. Three skeleton warriors. Well, they're the three, but they're guarded by these jokers. The Shadurian Arcanist. Okay. Ice damage. Gives fleet to a target ally. Removes shields. That sucks. They also parry their first hit. And begins every com Okay, every combat, but not every round. I and have all of our deploy commands have to occupy pink cells, which means oh, there's only two pink cells. I can't be right. Um hold on, auto deployment? That's actually not a bad choice. It's not very damage heavy. The shields could be good for us. 
Alice is kind of on her own, which I don't like. And reset it. Levant's not a terrible idea, though, right? Yeah, we can put Levant up. Put K like there. I definitely think we should have Alice. And then it's a question of who else? Diego's not bad. He's a little soft and squishy, though. Let's go for Signy, because she her whirlwind could be really good. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this. I'm questioning Levant. Because he's not a damage dealer. But he might be able to hold these guys off for a bit. Not to mention they have a lot of rocks and terrain to go through. They have, they'll have a hell of a time getting to him for the first part. The Baleful Bolt means they don't near necessarily need to get to him, though. Huh. Now let's reset. Maybe not. Maybe we put Diego there. Shield you up with K so that you can attack them while they attack you from a distance. Signy, Dogo's there, and Alice feels there. Let's try this. We're all energized. Yay, I we suppose. We move now, yes? All right. We can't get to them yet, but if we... Enrage... That'll boost her movement, and then she can go, like, over here. And we'll see what happens. You should definitely... Yeah, I think give him a shield. Okay. The heat is on. Give her deterrence. I'm tempted to put down the flame barrier, but I don't know where yet. We'll just follow her. Do I have to? And then come up here and shoot one of these guys, maybe. A little worried about coming in so close, but no, I can't shoot anybody yet. Can I get any? Okay, get up here. I'm just worried that the guys with the swords are going to poke me. Here we go. Wait a minute. Hold on. If I go, like, here, I should still be able to hit the one guy. I just don't want to get too close. Yeah, there we go. Okay, good first opener, I think. How though we're supposed to get these you guys? You play in with your toys. I play with the <laughs> cosmos. Hey, that hurt. Okay. Not enough mana. Oh wait. Okay, that should have hurt him more, I think, but it didn't. Okay, yes, Perry. Damn it. Yeah, Perry sucks. That's going to take some time to get used to. I mean, the first hit's going to be terrible. Not going to do anything. Oh, good miss. Thank you. Which means he's not braced. On the prowl. Which means this will work. Okay, and broke his parry, which is also good. Um, tempted to ounce here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's do it. Ancestors, hear me roar! Okay, that'll work. We could even do that again. Bounce back over this way. It'll really hurt the mage. Let's not go overboard. Here we go. All right, you have no shield, so let's change that. Um, which means I need to get closer to you. There you go. And you're done. Hey, Alice, uh, could you come up here and throw down? I mean, I'd love to do Inferno right there, but Signy would not appreciate that. So instead, why don't we put a Blazing Barrier right on this guy? Because mainly our quest is only for the skeletons, not for the mages. So we just focus on the skeletons. That's it. 
you should drop your target dummy right there. Unfortunately, these guys have brace, so we're not going to be able to do much to them today. Um, so you go over this way. And that's it. Mm, a curious thing. <laughs> Arius Nexus. Okay, not speeds enough him up. Mana. Oh, wait. <laughs> Okay, took away her shields and a bit of her health, too. Mm, a curious thing. <laughs> that hurt. Now you got to do it again. Okay, why did you move us, though? That's weird. Okay, got her. Oh, that's why. Oh, good dodge, Signy. You're doing so well. He might burn. Oh, beautiful dodges. Okay, I think if she does yes, whirlwind, yes. this guy just dies. Maybe not. Yeah, but whirlwind is definitely what we should do. We could do massacre, but it's not actually going to be a massacre. This would be better. Everyone's in range anyway. Let's go. That was pretty good. Hmm, maybe do that one. Well, I can't do it one more time, but I can run away and then pounce back. I'll hit three guys. Pretty good. Not gonna kill the mage, unfortunately. But it will get this skeleton in range of death. So let's do it. Come over here. Blitz. Bounce. Okay, so this guy is gonna die to the fire, probably. So close. You wanna do that again? Do that again. Ancestors, hear me roar! There you go. That's what I wanted. Now it's just this one guy. It's not too bad. Okay. Um, how about we empower? Fire, whatever. Right there. Doesn't have to be near anyone to do it, because we have that. The heat is on! And now she's empowered. Just bounce a fireball off this guy's head, or explode him. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Explosion! That's actually pretty sweet. Within range of death. Oh, we actually got a hit in. Not expecting that. What do you need? Oh no! No, the ex damn it, the damn mage. Not Hate everything. Mana. That oh, freaking we play skeleton. with your toys. Damn I it. play with the cosmos. I will destroy you. So I totally didn't even realize that she had a debuff on her because of the damn mage. So is the debuff? No, not on her now. Okay. Um. It's. So since I'm empowered, I'm gonna come over here and shoot this guy. Right at you! Okay, he does not parry up for some reason. Flame on! You throw a fireball here. This should kill the guy. Right? Yeah, well, I can't see him, damn it. Did I just step into the fire? That seems stupid. Um, what I could do is put a blazing barrier right there, and that'll kill him anyway. There you go. That did it. Man, I'm on fire. And then start running away. My turn. Okay. Woo. So you're gonna poison this guy. Time to get romantic. And then shoot him. I'm not the best shot. Except kill when him. I am. A shot to the heart, and you're to blame. That was Good it. Good job catching these arrows. That was actually easier than I thought it was gonna be. We did six turns and defeat two animals enemies of single ability. Oh, that must have been Signy's. Song of Autumn for Diego. Plus 25% damage is pretty good. Um, yeah, we should probably use that, huh? All right, let's uh, let's trade out Diego's equipment then. So Diego. Oh, we have a lot of empty perks there. That's just silly. Here we go. Song of Autumn for you, my friend. Um, why do you have all these empty perks? Let's see. 
Um, do, 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 do. Up on damage, which is good. Skill morph. Quick shot is 50%. Well, I guess it's okay, sure. Not my first choice, but we already have almost our first choices. I really don't want to decrease your accuracy. I don't want to do that. But he's not going to get hit very much, so I'm kind of thinking... Like, the Jack of All Trades is pretty good. Maybe we trade out, like, one of the dodges. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a lot Anyway. Trade out Brawler. The Jack of All Trades. That's pretty good. I like that. Basically, it trades 1% damage for everything else. That works out. Okay, we have to get Signy back somehow. Um, oh, there's a camp right here. Okay, the party leveled up, so now we're level 16. Kingdom quests have updated. We're not actually there yet, though. I don't know why it says the quest has been updated, because it hasn't. Let's go to the camp. Keep in mind that banning a dungeon run progress. Oh, no. Wait, 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 wait. I had exit dungeon instead of enter node. Don't know what the hell I was thinking. We could get Signy right now. No, we're just going to talk to these guys. Hey, Alice. Do I hear the sound of a heart thawing, I wonder? Oh, Diego, stop trying, man. It's not going to work for you. Still trying to score? Can't deny the obvious attraction. I'm a handsome beast, after all. No? You are a beast, yes. I right, just mean for the sake of it. I'll let you know I'm quite a catch. Really now? Does this approach ever work? Oh, for the love of... Not as often as I'd like, apparently. Haven't I seen this scene before? Oh yes, not once and not twice. Right now, Diego here keeps trialing, trying and failing to ascertain that I'm madly in love with him. Top luck. Eh. Okay. Do one more fight. I'm not going to get Signy back this time. I think we'll be fine. We have we have more damage on our side. We have Griff. We should be okay. A lot of fights. Let's do this fight. Actually, with the time we have in the episode, let's do the text venture first. Black Cat. Let's go. Come upon a lonely tree surrounded by a huge crowd. Or rather, to be exact, by two women. Okay, giant crowd. Painful, almost infernal racket can be heard in the boughs, like the wail of a million eldritch horrors. A sonorous, ghastly cry of terror that will end the world, crushing our pitiful moral codals to oblivion. Obviously, it puts a tree. Wait, one of the women by the tree stops you. You don't want to come closer. There's a cat in that tree. Uh, so? A cat whose coat reflects the darkness that fetches within its malignant soul, the other one chimes in. A big, bloated pustule of hissing horror. Beware. They said that he devoured his previous owner whole. Poor lady, she always believed there was some good in him. Let me get this straight. There's a cat trapped in this tree, and it's some kind of hideous, twisted hell spawn? They both nod in staunch agreement. You look up, and indeed, there appears to be a black cat sitting on one of the lower branches. I think poking the cat with a stick was a bad idea. How about just help it get down? Climb with the tree to assist the cat. The trap feline appears to be sitting on a rather flimsy-looking branch. Judging from the cat's own impressive, almost physics-defying obesity, the creaking branch is ready to break any second now. Around its neck, you spot a small name tag. Edgar... Edgar... Ed what? Edgaro. Edgaro? Hey, Edgaro. As you draw closer, the cat hisses at you, his beloved eyes flaring up with contempt. The creature is hatred-given form. It's almost overwhelming. There, there, kitty. Then, as you're about to selflessly give up, the cat jumps at you, clawing your, at your eyes with unholy fervor. You fall with meteoric impact to the ground, and while the cat escapes unscathed, it'll take some time to be able to see properly again. Never trust a cat. At least it didn't give us blinded, just gave us a little bit of XP. Alright, that was silly. Um, let's finish off this node, at least this side piece here. The exit, in a matter of speaking, from the remnants of an ancient complex, judging from the defaced paintings, the miles seem to have found their niche here. I wonder if you need to do all these or just fight, follow a node to the end. Did we actually finish with the dungeon right here? I don't know. Let's find out. This will be a little bit long episode then, because the battle is going to take a bit. Reach the destination point with all non-KO characters within 10 turns. Win the battle without removing closer than the maximum movement range allowed. 
don't know what that challenge means. Oh, we have kitty cats. That is a difficult one to get to. That is going to be very difficult. All right, let's go. We don't really have an all damage build here. Levant could probably distract them pretty well. Alice on here. Riff. And K. Do that. Because we don't need to kill them, we need to rush them, right? And then Levant can do his holy dive and maybe get thin range. We're blinded? That sucks. Okay. Let's um, give Levant some shields. Kind of surprised Levant doesn't have the ability to get shields on his own. He must. He must. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Okay, so you're going to come up over this way. And... Down a blazing barrier, like, there. Let it flow! Okay. Ah. Oh, I hate the viper shots. That's gonna hit K for sure. Oh, good dodge. I was not expecting that. That one's also going to go for K. And that one hit. All right. Well, it's bound to happen soon. For really, great right? justice. Okay. So you go over here. I wonder if you can... You can't quite reach the lady over there. So instead, I think you do Crescent Strike right here and hit this one. Okay, she did stand the fire. Good for me. Okay, you're gonna push this away, huh? That sucks. Griff can't go far though. Yeah, that was not too bad. Do not presume too much. Alright. Coming over here. And then I think you do your whole dive. That'll at least stun one of these. It's not a very good use of Holy Dive, is it? Do a Holy Nova instead. If I move over like here. If I do Holy Nova, give shields to both Alice and Griff. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Well, it didn't make as the much progress as I wanted. Um. Hmm. No, I kind of hate it. I'm going to delay. Might cost us, but... Okay. Shields down a little bit. Then you pull Let's get dangerous. Um, still going to delay. Okay, so much for those shields. I don't know how Let's we're going to get over there without killing, like, half this party. On the Fire Lord, but no. Griff? Could you come over here? 566, huh? Final blow, and that would kill her. That won't quite kill her. I think you go for the killing blow. We need to take out at least some of these guys. There you go. Victory for House Lauren. And then move over here and that'll distract them. You have 516. I believe in your abilities. Let's get dangerous. Okay, now she can move. That's what I wanted to see. Um, you're kind of in the way of Levant, but I'm gonna assume that's okay. And then Inferno Blast. You do that? Let it flow! Okay, that was actually pretty good. She's under 581. Yeah, it's doable. No longer blinded. That's good. Can't go back too far because Levant's right there to stop her. 
And Griff can't buy. Oh, okay. That that's also a thing, I guess. Do not presume too much. All right, you can come up here, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I could bash you, and that could definitely be a thing we could do. Or I could jump back here. Oh, that would drop him right into the fire. Nope, that's bad. Can't drop him there because that's a crevasse. Jump over here. That would stun her and keep her in the fire. It's not a bad idea, actually. Oh, but I can't. Damn it. Nope. There's only so many places we can go. Okay. Yeah, I do need to jump, but not there. All right, just bash this guy then. Burn, fool! Okay, and then K needs to run. He can't run very far. He could try slashing. He has a decent sword now. Should just straight up kill this guy. Take this. There you go. Okay. And then run. I think it's because he's blinded, so he's not gonna be able to run out of the way of this guy. Oh, I know why we started blinding. It was the freaking cat. The cat blinded us. They didn't tell us the about heat it. Is on. I don't know why they didn't tell us about it, but they didn't tell us about it. That's annoying. Okay, so what? Oops. Um, put deterrence on Griff because he's definitely going to be hit. Then come over here, I guess. 695. Firefly just doesn't do enough damage. I don't know. Come over and stand near Griff, I suppose. No, that's not going to work. Doesn't really do much for me. Let me stay where you are. I don't think they can do anything right now. They might be prepping for when I move for over great here. great justice! Okay, so... You can come over here and smack... Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't get past the crevasse. I need to kill her. Do anything. That sucks. Alright. Well. No water! What I'll do then. Um... Back to this point. Do not falter. I can just blitz, hit her again. For great justice. Yeah, whittle her down. <gasps> She's just staying in the fire for whatever reason. Don't understand, but sure. I march. Okay, so I go up here. Does that increase my holy diver? It does. So I can come in right here. Do some damage to that one. You will not hurt me. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, I think. Here, just shoot this guy. Kill him. Thank you. And then move away. He's no longer blinded. That's good. Leave this to me. He got his turn back, which is also good. Uh, let's see. Give it to Griff, I think. Let's get dangerous. 95, 189. No, definitely hit. Yeah. Try to bounce a fireball off of her head. It'll bounce on her and to kill them both. Let it flow. There you go. And then we can run. Run all the way down. Possibly. Yeah, they're totally prepping. Can I get over there? They might shoot a snake. No, okay. He has 685. I don't think we can do anything about that. Yeah, I don't think he's killable. Not from here. Oh, wait, we do have Blitz. No, this will work. This will work. Do not falter. Never mind. Totally misread that. No totally worked. Well fought. Okay, then we run for the exit, and we're good. These guys just exist. That's I'm fine. Out. Levant's gonna take some time, unfortunately, but that's just how it goes. We might even be able to. No, we can't do it in six. The slow and the, with the blind just made that. No, wait, 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 wait. Move Alice first. She's closer. Let's get dangerous. 
Yeah, because there's a, there's a pass there that cannot be Here we crossed. go! There you go. Yeah, we're not going to be able to do it in six. It might take a seven. That's too bad. So we lose out on that bonus. We just can't can't move that fast. I follow. Levant especially is slow, and I think maybe my placement there made it so that no one can get past him. Nope. Wait for Alice. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone can get go. past him. Oh well. They're gonna try to chase us down. Oh, Viper shot, huh? That's a little sneaky. You can try to hit Levant. Can't poison him. Oh, but you can do the raw damage, I suppose. Oh, we did gain slowed, though. That sucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has whittling away his armor. At your side. Okay, so I can get you there. I'm gonna do that. Let's go down that way. I'm out. You can smash these guys. Burn, fool! Didn't actually kill them. And then since I'm slowed, I can't do much. That sucks. Okay. Um and give shield, it doesn't matter. Hold on, can she Let's get dangerous. just destroy these guys? Yes. Let's do that. Thank you. Man, I'm on fire! Here we go! And then come over here and then shield up Levant. Yeah. Take this! Levant might be able to hop over next turn. It's gonna take me like eight or nine turns. Jiminy Cricket. <laughs> I think they already used their Viper Shot. I think that was like a two turn cooldown. Let us strike! So we just move you over here. Do not presume too much. Levant is still slowed, but we have Holy Diver, which means we can push him over here, I guess. Radiance everlasting! There you go. And then turn eight, we move our guys Let's over go. there. We should be good. You over that way. Up. Oh, that is actually blocking. No, actually, it's not. It's Flame not. on! Oh, it is. Arg. One more turn. This looked like an empty square she could walk on, but apparently not. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, well. We pretty much got this in the bag, though. It's done. The time is now. Um, You're done, so thank I'm you. Out. You're done. Let's go. You just come over this way. Flame on. And you go that way. There you go. That was it. Champion's Creed. Eh. Not that great. You can do this. So does that let us finish the dungeon? I think. Yeah, I think we're done. No, actually. Yeah, we still have to finish it off. Okay, so we'll do that next episode. So thank you for watching. This has been Regalia of Men and Monarchs. I'm Peace of the Universe, you're Peace of the Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.